An historic verdict. Derek Chauvin is guilty on all charges for the murder of George Floyd. Yesterday was the end of the three week trial, but analysts say it's just one battle in a bigger fight for accountability. Adriana Dalba tells us what it means moving forward. As people across the U.S. continue to process yesterday's verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial, experts say this is the beginning of a major shift, but the key word there is beginning. They say there's a lot of work that still needs to be done in order to create that long-term change. It's the moment people anxiously watched all across the country. A verdict in the murder trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Chauvin guilty on all charges for the murder of George Floyd. One day later, people are processing the significance of the verdict. I was, I was shocked, I was really shocked, but it was deserving of it, you know. You gotta take accountability for your actions. Dr. Cassandra Newby Alexander is a professor of history at Norfolk State University. She says the verdict is a significant point in history. The expectation for yesterday's trial um, was that the police officer would have been acquitted of all of the charges because history has shown us that almost no police officers have been found guilty uh, and convicted of killing an African American. A majority of Americans agreed Chauvin was guilty. A new Ipsos poll found more than 71% of Americans surveyed agreed with the verdict. Nubi Alexander says the ruling is the beginning of a possible shift. I think it is going to start a lot of reform. I think that we're at a critical mass period in American history. This is the beginning of our long journey, hopefully to real change. I think after 400 years, it's time. In Norfolk, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. And the poll also found most of the Americans surveyed followed at least some coverage of the three-week trial.